as we begin to read Parashat Naso, we come across one of the most beloved brief sections in the Torah, the priestly benediction. May God bless you and keep you, and so forth. The question becomes, who bestows this blessing? In the Torah, God tells Moses to tell Aaron that he should pronounce these words to bless the people and thus link God's name. You could ask a theoretical question. Is Aaron, are the priests, blessing the people? Or is God blessing the people? And those maybe aren't mutually exclusive. In our own day, in Reform Judaism, we don't accord special privileges to people who are descended from a priestly class. Typically, those who bestow the priestly benediction are rabbis, like me, or others who know it and can bestow it on others. On Thursday night, when we held confirmation with each of the confirmands Zooming from their own homes, I invited each of the parents, and we, I blessed each of the kids one by one, and I invited the parents to recite the English after me, to bless their children, even as I said the blessing line by line for them in Hebrew and in English. Parents clearly bless their children, not only with the words that those confirmation parents spoke on Thursday night, but also in the way that they raise their children. So much more importantly, they bless them. Rabbi Jan Katsu has observed that there's a certain chutzpah in thinking that you can bestow blessing, no matter who you are, a rabbi, a descendant of the Aaronite priests. At the same time, Rabbi Katsu urges us to think about the midah, the soul trait of anava, humility. Humility, most of us think of as shrinking back, saying, no, not me, and I'm not being arrogant. And it is that, but it's also stepping into one's proper place. I'd like to suggest that those confirmation parents were very much in the right place to bless their children at their confirmation. They are the ones who raised them to the point of taking their place, confirming their status in the chain of Jewish tradition. I was in the right place to bless those children as their rabbi, those young adults, I should say, as their rabbi, as their teacher through this confirmation process. And in fact, all of us, whether we can say the Hebrew or not, ought to step forward and into the role of one who can bestow blessing with these words of Torah, with other words of kindness and encouragement, and with our acts of gemilut chasadim, our loving kindness, this is a blessing to the people around us. Spoke to Moses saying, Speak to Aaron and his son saying, Thus you shall bless the children of Israel, saying to them, May God bless you and guard you. May God's light shine on you and bring goodness to you. May God smile on you and bring you peace. Thus you shall place my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Amen.
Shabbat Shalom.